Hello my beautiful Libra and welcome to your love reading for early December 2022. I have a feeling you're dealing with a new person and they might be dragging their feet a little bit, okay? Um, they're coming out as the Knight of Pentacles, all right? So slow moving. They do want to offer you a new beginning, okay? We have the Ace of Pentacles here. Now you could be dealing with an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, the reason why I feel like you're getting a little bit impatient, you want to know where you stand with this person. You want to know if they're going to be taking things to the next level. We have the temperance card in the reverse. So impatience, this might've been, you know, um, a very slow moving connection. Um, the two of cups is here though. So it's an undeniable connection. You definitely have chemistry with this person. Um, there's mutual, uh, feelings. For each other but we have the wheel of fortune next to the four of cups so the wheel of fortune talks about time and you can see a clock in this particular deck four of cups talks about boredom dissatisfaction feeling jaded you know wondering is this going to move forward is there going to be momentum or are we going to keep going around and around in circles interesting that this card says maybe later so it's like what is this person's deal why are they making me wait? Why are they putting this offer off? Are they wanting to keep their options open? What's going on? And Seven of Pentacles is here. Another slow moving energy. This talks about evaluating whether your efforts are paying off, your hard work is paying off. Is this going to come to fruition or do I go off in, in search of greener pastures? Look, I feel like your, your feelings are real and worth exploring. There's definitely a magnetic connection here, Two of Cups. So I don't feel like you should throw in the towel. Obviously not. Um, but I definitely feel like this person needs to kind of pick up the pace a little bit. So let's see. Why are they dragging their feet? Let's see what's going on for your person. Angels and Spirit, please show me what's going on for Libra's person. What's going on for Libra's person, please? Okay. I don't feel good enough for you. Uh, let me just see. Angels and Spirit, please show me. What is going on for Libra's person of interest? What's going on? I can't do this right now. I want you to chase me. Okay, so this person might be waiting for you to kind of take the lead here. I'm overwhelmed. So I feel like this person does struggle with some insecurities, may not feel good enough for you. You, you know, you might have a lot of options and they sense this and they don't know whether, you know, they can compete. What's going on for Libra's person of interest, please? What's going on for Libra's person of interest? I do love you. I just don't know how to show you right now. It may not be love, you know, because it's a new connection. It may just be this person has a deep affection for you. Um, but they don't really know how to show you. This con connection confuses me. I don't know what to do. You're not like who they're used to dating because they're saying you, you are like no other. I'm trying to understand trying to understand why Libra you're attracted to them, why you want to be with them. They have an innate sense of inadequacy, insecurity is what I'm picking up on. Let's see, what are they what are they insecure about, please, Spirit? What are they insecure about? This person, show me more about Libra's person, please. Show me more about Libra's person. Show me more about Libra's person, please. nine of wands okay so this person's quite guarded um they're afraid to open up to you they're afraid that you're not going to like what you see um yeah so they're protecting them their heart page of wands they, they are very enthusiastic about this connection and where it could go because they're highly attracted to you with the page of wands. But look at this person in this card. She's very wistful and she's holding all this fruit 
So the appetite for this connection and to take it to the next level is there. This person's sweet. They want to offer you what they have. They just don't feel like it's enough. I definitely feel like some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Tell me more about this person, please. Who is Libra dealing with in love? Who is Libra dealing with in love, please? Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. They're afraid of giving to this connection only to have it fail. I don't know where that's coming from. It's like irrational fears. Okay, let's see what they would say to you. Um, I'm going to press pause. I want to find the right deck. Okay, let's see. What would they say, please? What would they say to Libra? Yeah, I feel like we don't have a solid foundation. This person may feel like they can't offer you a solid foundation. Or this person might just be being very hesitant, being very slow, because they want to ensure that this relationship is built for success. You know, that's what I was getting with the, the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Deep down, I have hope for us. Yeah, see, I feel like this is you. I'm losing patience with this. I'm ready to move on. Give some spirit, please show me. What's going on for Libra's person? What's going on? What would they say to, to Libra? What would they say to Libra, please? I feel like you don't care. See, they're doubting your interest. It's important for me to stay grounded and balanced no matter what is going on okay so this person's very um, cautious they want to see you more often let's take a chance yeah they definitely want to take a leap of faith but they're lacking courage at the moment there are times when I feel stuck in this energy then I pull myself out but then find myself right back in this is a deep soul connection I feel it I feel you Yeah, they, they doubt your interest a little bit. Hmm. Okay, so let's see what you're learning from this experience, or you're meant to learn from this experience. Angels and Spirit, please show me what is Libra learning from this, please? This love situation, what is it teaching them? What is it teaching Libra, please? What is it teaching Libra? Empathy. So you're being asked to see this from your person's perspective. So have compassion for their um, challenges and, um, yeah. Indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. So you're being asked to trust your intuition about this person and why they might be moving very slowly we've got i can release my need to control so you need to let go of expectations about how you think things should be unfolding expectations about how you think how you know quickly you think this person should be moving you know what i mean let's see what you're calling in your future flame cards say what are the messages for libra please what are the messages for libra Release resistance and allow this love to simply come in. Okay, so stay in your receptive state and don't try to control the situation. Let it unfold naturally. Although it may seem like it's been an eternity since we've been together or, you know, since you've been waiting on this person, it's it has only been the blink of an eye, together forever. Okay, so... I feel like your patience will pay off in this case. I feel like it's worth the wait. This person and this connection will be worth the wait, Libra. Yeah, this person knows that you're eager to kind of get things off the ground. They're saying, I hear you calling me in. I hear you. This person's listening to you. They understand you might be getting a little bit impatient with them. It's a soul connection. Um... 
and they're reflecting something that's going on within you, whether you know it or not, and vice versa. So there's a bit of, yeah, um, mirroring going on in this. Um, I want to get your simple love advice, and I'll get a message from the Crystal Spirit deck. Um, you know what? I'm going to scrap the simple love advice. I think just the spirit, the Crystal Spirit. What is Libra's advice, please, in this situation in early December 2022, please? What is Libra's advice in love? New might. Let's see what that says. talking about achieving self-mastery, inner power, and recovering your sense of self. It says, when it comes to your relationships with others, building trust and intimacy is a process. Yeah, so this person wants to slowly get to know you and build a solid foundation. Practice leads to results, for repetition develops skills. Just as you engage in a dance with a partner, leading and following, stay present in the moment, listening to signals and cues and being clear about what you need and desire. Yes, toes will get stepped on here and there, but it's how you and your partner deal with the inevitable missteps that allows you to develop a closeness that can stand up to even the biggest challenges. Practice, 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 and soon it will be second nature to express yourself in relationships in ways that reflect your highest aspiration, aspirations for how you want to show up for others and what you want to experience. Cultivate love through practicing being loving. So Libra, I hope that this reading was helpful. Leave me comments and leave me feedback in the comment section. As always, like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.